What's up guys, it's Zeggy and welcome back to another video on Zeros RSPS. And it's actually been a little while since I've done a video like this, but if you guys remember, I started a new series on my channel being 10 Reasons Why. And essentially, since I know a lot of you guys actually use my channel as a place to find new servers, I had came up with this idea of showing off servers that I really like under this new series of 10 Reasons Why You Should Play This Server. I do really think Zeros is worth a shot guys, so I highly recommend it. And of course, link down below if you do want to check it out, and upon arrival, come into the home bank here and speak to the referral tutor. He's gonna ask you how did you hear about us, make sure to enter the referral code Eggy for a free little bonus into the game. And of course, before the video, once again, Zeros has sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with a massive giveaway. So guys, the first comment today is actually one themselves a $10 scroll. Just like always, make sure to hit the bell down below if you want a better chance of being the first comment prize on every video. And today, I have a three winner giveaway. So one lucky commenter is going to win themselves a $25 scroll, another is going to win themselves the new Knights Not face guard, and the last is going to win themselves an Armadale God Sword. Just like always, if you guys want a chance to enter, make sure to like the video, comment your in-game name down below, and subscribe to the channel. As well, guys, link down below. Make sure to join my Discord, as that is where I post every video's giveaway winners. And there's less than one day until another 50 mil old school is drawn in there. Anyway though guys, enough rambling on, and let's get into the video. I am gonna say before we get into this, there's gonna be likely more than 10 actual reasons that I post on today's video. Either way, I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. One of the first things that I actually really want to mention, and that I really wish more servers actually had, open up the bank here, click down here, presets. I really, really wish more servers added presets. They're so sick to have, honestly, on any server, whether that's a custom server, a PKing server, anything like that. Like, it literally helps out so much. And another really cool thing, as you can see, on Zeros, you can actually spend a little money and get a pre-made preset for you. Get a little bit of money and fight with your friends. Maybe you want to do a main fight, just like that. Click 675k and you're on your way to fight your friends. Next, what I'll be talking about, over to the quest tab, click on the coin here, and we actually have quite a few things to note down here. First off is going to be the collection log. This is so cool for any PVMers or really any players honestly. Just having a collection log on any server to see your kill count, to see your actual drop collections, like things like like this is actually really cool to me. And once again, you guys are gonna hear this word a lot. The quality of life with this is sick. Of course, on this account, I've killed literally nothing, but the collection log on this server is huge. Of course, it's for literally everything in the game. All the bosses, wilderness bosses, you have the raids, we have the Barrows minigame in here, and of course, every single one of the clue scrolls and the pets as well. Next, the monster kill log. So on here, we can see the amount of kills on literally every single boss and monster, so like Slayer creatures, across a game, and of course, your best kill time as well. Once again, another nice little quality of life. Moving on to the next one, the drop table. I don't know why, but some servers still don't have a drop table to this day. On this server's drop table, you can either search up an NPC. So for example, Abyssal Demons, there we are got the Abyssal Demon drop table, or the Abyssal Whip, you can search up items as well. Same concept, very nice, and once again, quality of life. You guys are gonna hear that a lot on this video. Loot table, pretty much the same as a drop table, but for things that actually aren't killable, so you have the voting keys, Soda Seg key, Hunlef, Saren, Hespori, all four of these are world bosses on this server, and then you have all the mystery boxes, Chambers of Xerax rewards, voting mystery boxes, even crystal keys. To me, it's just really nice seeing the possible rewards that you can get. Another little quality of life feature is going to be the world event timer. Click on that, and then it'll show you when the next world bosses are going to be spawning, so Hespori, all the wildy bosses, or of course the Outlast tournament. Dude, I love that so much. If you guys don't know what the Outlast is, I highly recommend checking out my last video on the server. Once again with the presets, and now we have donator benefits, but next, this server has a crazy list of achievements. Why I like achievements so much is, for example, you don't know what to do, open up the achievement tab and literally just click, alright, I want to go for this one now. It's really simple, but really, really nice to see on servers. And of course, they are crazy rewardable. You can get yourself not only loads of coins, but also loads of goodies as well. Next, I know this is a bit of a weird one, but Slayer. Slayer on the server is actually really, really good. Trading Neve, we can actually see a custom Slayer store, buying some really, really good things. And another great QOL feature, if you actually don't have the points to skip a Slayer task, you're actually welcome to skip a task for 1.5 mil. You know how many times I've been so annoyed joining a server, pretty much just starting fresh out and I get like Steel Dragons. Ain't nobody want to kill Steel Dragons, but it's my first task so I can't actually skip it. That's why giving people the ability to actually skip the task for coins is sick, and plus it's a money sink out of your eco. And of course, it's kind of a two-part, but while doing Slayer, you're going to be accumulating PVM points. PVM points are of course gathered from killing anything in the game, so anything from pretty much rock crabs to Slayer creatures to even bosses give PVM points. But opening up the store, another massive custom PVM point shop. This is so good for accounts. You can get so many actual sick account upgrades and things like that, especially for Iron Man. As you guys have seen on my series, I've grabbed so many upgrades from this store. 
Which, speaking of Iron Man, actually brings me on to my next point. So hopping onto my Iron Man real quick. Link down below if you guys want to check out this series, but... Iron Man Shopkeeper, trading the boy right here, and look at this dude, this is sick. So we have runes, lower level things, easy boosts, things up to the dwarf cannon, all accessible from the Iron Man store. This is so nice to actually see on servers. As we all know, the Iron Man grind is hard enough, and we're playing private servers for a reason. So just having a small Iron Man store like this is super nice to me. Another nice QOL feature that's worth mentioning, not many people know of this, but the Box of Health. This actually restores your prayer points, your HP, and all of your stats and it's right beside the home teleport. I don't know why not many servers actually have this, but this is super nice to me. Next, voting. We all know by now that voting is super rewardable on most servers, but Zeros goes out of their way to make it even more rewardable. As you're doing your voting, you're gonna earn blue points and red points for streak points. You can spend these on like 50% double XP, voting crystals, 10% drop rate for an hour, even ultra mystery boxes. And on top of that, the top three weekly voters actually get themselves some bonus rewards. So ultra mystery box, super mystery box, and a mystery box right there. And of course, while voting, you're gonna be accumulating voting points, which you can of course spend on this absolutely broken voting shop. Pretty much get so many different things on here. One thing that I'm saving for is a fire cape, of course, because your boy hates the fight caves. But there's actually a lot of really rewardable things just from voting on the server so make sure to do it every 12 hours guys teleport wizard at home guys if you want to actually get around the game or of course we can open up the spell book and click on any one of the teleports to open up the interface here as you've probably seen by now we have a custom home so just west of edgeville we have the hespori world boss here just do a quick little run by for you guys custom home on this server is actually super nice we have the outlast portal over here up over to here we have the chronos plant we have the fire of exchange which I don't know what either of those are, but moving on. Next feature, guys, is colon colon skill. If you've seen my previous Iron Man episodes, you have know I've spent a lot of time in this island. It is so nice to actually have a skilling island that's literally just for skilling, honestly. Of course, we got mining, smithing, fishing, cooking, woodcutting, fire making, fletching. Pretty much every single skill can be trained here with a few shops here as well. It's just nice to have instead of, shit, where do I get coal ore? Do I have to go to Falador? Where do I string my bowstring? Do I have to go to Lumbridge? Where do I go? Nah, just come over to coal and coal and skill and pretty much everything is here. Anyways though guys, really, really quick video today, once again, episode 4 I believe of my 10 reasons why you should check out this server. Although today's video wasn't necessarily 10 reasons, it was more so a bunch of reasons mashed up, mixed along with a bit of quality of life reasons why you should check out this server, but for real, Xeros is super fun and definitely worth checking out. Like I said, I did just kind of want to mash it up into my 10 reasons why series because it did kind of make sense to me, but either way, I really hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to come check out this server, it is loads of fun, I post it frequently, and I stream it frequently as well. You guys seem to love this server, it is blowing up lately, so honestly, if you haven't already, link down below, come join the hype. But for real guys, like I did say, I am going to start wrapping up the video here. And as well, if there is any frequent players that actually play this server, be sure to drop in the comment section any actual suggestions why you think people should play this server as well. Anyways though guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Just like always, make sure to enter for that juicy 3 part giveaway today and enjoy my discord by using the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, stay tuned on today's stream, but later! Oh,